Hello and welcome to CAD Chaos. Last episode you watched me make this sword using a sketch that I hand drew and imported into SolidWorks. So this tutorial is how to do exactly that, how to import a sketch into your drawing so that you can create geometry from it. So this is the image I used last week to create that sword, which uh, I scanned and then imported into the SOLIDWORKS here. But as you can tell, I only have one uh, plane that I was working with. So I'm going to show you a tutorial that uh, will show you how to use more than just one plane here and how to get that image from your computer, wherever it is, onto your SOLIDWORKS work area. So. This is kind of the project I'm going to be showing you here. This is uh, just a jet, and there's three views, one suppressed at this moment. So I'm going to unsuppress that for you. And now you can kind of, uh, you can see what's going on here. So how did I do this? Well, let's run over to a new part real quick. Alright, so I'm going to start off, and I'm going to work from isometric view. I'm going to start with the right plane. I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to go to Tools. I'm going to come down to Sketch Tools and go to Sketch Picture. Now I already have a master file here that I then broke up into the different views I'm going to end up using here. So this is my first image, which is my right view. So I'm going to open this up. Uh, correction, I made my side view. It's not necessarily right or left. Um, and when I'm placing these into the workspace, I have to be mindful of where that origin is going to be so that when I start to create the sketches on the different planes and connect the dots, that I have a common place to start with. So in this case, I'm going to use the origin. I'm going to put it down near the nose of the jet. I'm going to click OK. And that is one side done. So I'm going to continue on here, and I'm going to do this for the front. So, there you go, create a sketch on the front plane, go down to Tools, Sketch Tools. I'm going to come down to Sketch Picture. I'm going to get the uh, image that is the front image. Open that up. Go normal to that surface area there. And then I'm going to place that tip of that nose right where the origin is so that the drawings will line up. Click OK, exit the sketch, and if we run, we now start to see these images come together. So now I'm going to create one for the top sketch here. So top plane, create a sketch, tools, sketch tools, sketch picture, create the top image, this point, it's a good idea to go normal to that. Um, this one is rotated incorrectly. I need to rotate it 90 degrees. And now I'm going to move this image to where that origin is. Click OK. So now you start to see things come together, but it doesn't look quite right yet. What happens is that there is no uh, transparency in these images. They'll block the content that is behind them. So I'm going to go back through here to my first sketch. I'm going to hit this little plus sign, pull it out, and uh, I'm going to edit this. In that case, I just double clicked on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to transparency. And now I'm going to use user defined. You'll notice that this has a little uh, color selection tool. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pick on the white. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to go one and one, and that's going to create transparency. See what happened there? That wing back here was hidden because it's behind the image right now. But as I bring up this transparency, you see more and more of that. It may be a good idea to leave this maybe at 75%, so you can see a bit of a difference when you're rotating this model around. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it full on 100%. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do this for the other images. Transparency, pick white, 100%. And then move on to this last image here. User define, click that image, and go to 100%. Now if you do have a uh, an image that is a TIFF, TIFF does support 
transparency. I'm thinking PNG. .png is also a format that supports transparency. Um, so in that case, you might be able to use transparency from file. Um, so there you go. That is how you bring in sketch planes and you line them up. So then you can start creating an arc there and then creating an arc there and kind of trying to figure out by looking at the front here how that's going to flow and start to stitch together surfaces to create whatever model it is you're trying to create. There is also another way to um, automatically pull geometry from the sketch and that is through a command called Auto Trace. That is an add-on program but I'm going to split that off into another tutorial so I don't make this one too long. So thank you for watching CAD Chaos. If you like what you see, subscribe, comment, like, and I'll continue to upload more videos, tutorials, projects uh, from weekly to bi-weekly. Thank you.